Say the magic word. What if I told you that you could absolutely, totally shift your attitude by changing out just one word that you use for another? I read an article by a guy named James Clear. He'd written a book on atomic mind, and he wrote that eliminating one word that we use all the time can make a huge difference to how we actually approach our daily lives. He says to just switch out have to for get to. That seems too simple, right? So I tried it to see if it made a difference. First, I said to myself, I have to work from home and felt how that felt. Next, I tried to get to work from home. Yikes, totally different. I have to work from home. It felt like a burden or at least an inconvenience. I could tell that I felt a little grumpy about it. But when I said I get to work from home, I felt a beat and excited, like I'd been given a gift or something like that. My mind immediately started thinking about possibilities and felt enthusiastic. It surprised me how powerful it was. I tried it on some other things as well. I have to go outside and find toilet paper. Ugh. I immediately felt cranky and had all kinds of images of what a hassle it was going to be. Then I imagined having to actually use a hose, you know, to like keep it clean down there. So I shifted my focus. Then I tried, I get to go out and find toilet paper today. Oh my gosh, instant switch. All of a sudden, going out to find toilet paper was like a scavenger hunt. It was like a game to see how clever I could be about finding the Charmin. I love Scarmin, don't, don't squeeze the Charmin. So these ideas were pretty good, and here's the deal. None of these good ideas actually showed up when finding toilet paper was something I had to do. Test it for yourself. What are some of the things that you often tell yourself that you have to do? First, say it the way you usually would. For example, I have to cook dinner. Take a moment and see how that feels to you, and then try, I get to cook dinner. How is it different? Actually, to tell you the truth, lately I've been excited about having to cook dinner. It's one of my family goals to try to cook dinner three to four times per week, but it gets challenging at times. But now, lately, it's easy to make dinner at home because I have to, and I get to, and I love doing it. I get to doesn't work if you say it sarcastically, like, yeah, great, I get to do my taxes. You need to be sincere or at least neutral about it. When you test this out, don't just gloss over it. Really pay attention to how you feel and the thoughts you have with have to versus get to. For me, the feelings with get to range from gratitude to enthusiasm to inspiration. All good stuff, it's what we want right now. When I say have to, the only positive I feel is determination to get it done. But other than that, I kind of feel burdened and hassled and obligated and maybe even resentful. Not the feelings you want to have right now for a strong, healthy mindset. So do me a favor, once you've experienced the difference, work on making get to a habit. You might wanna start on the little things like I get to wash my hair, right? And then you can work up to bigger things like I get to find a way to pay my bills. We're all gonna to need to do that lately, right? Try it out and let me know how it works for you. Being mindful of who we are, how we think and what we say is all the difference in the world for having a healthy mindset. And I will see you tomorrow. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.